Good morning. Pastor Andy here from St. Luke Union Church, and uh, I, I'm sitting in the sanctuary, a, an empty sanctuary, a sanctuary that uh, is adorned for Easter. You can still see the lilies that, uh, that surround the cross. You can see the, the white cloth over the cross, and I even lit our Christ candle here this morning. But uh, it is a time that finds us actually only halfway through our shelter-in-place requirement from, uh, from our government, uh, a time that we're only halfway uh, to the end. And this is a time where uh, uh, we hope that the, the curve for illnesses is, is reaching its peak. It's also the curve of, uh, of our time being isolated as well. And I want to read from uh, the book of Revelations, actually the 21st chapter of Revelations toward the end. And this is from a devotional that I read this week, and it really has helped me. And it says this, And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among us mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. I will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. See, I am making all things new. Uh, and that just uh, uh, teaches me, or shows me, or reminds me, rather, that uh, we have faith. And because we have faith, we also have hope and we have assurance. And it's through our hope that, uh, that this will be over soon. Uh, and our assurance that God is with us to see us through, um, it, it, uh, it will carry us through. It is what is the basis of our faith. Because when we have faith, we have both hope and we have both assurance. Um, so I want to pray with us uh, this morning. And I hope this, uh, this helps you in your day. And know that we are on the backside of the curve. And uh, the days are getting shorter for us to, to be separated. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, I give great thanks for, for the faith that you place in our hearts for the grace that you reign upon us, for the, the love that you place in our hearts. And because of that faith, you also give us hope and you give us assurance. Hope that we will see this through and assurance that you are with us every single one of our days. Lord, be with us. Let us uh, be patient. Let us be kind to one another. Let us continue to care and to know that this will soon be over. Lord, we ask you simply to be with us and to take this virus away. Heal the people who have it and please protect the ones who have not. In Christ's name, amen. Have a blessed morning.